Greece. So it tended to fizzle out as it does so to allow some patchy rain across the central portions of the UK with some blustery showers following on behind, generally a clear and a dry night across the south and the east. You can see double figure values for all uh, starting Thursday morning, so warmer than it's been the last few nights. So we've got a north-south divide on Thursday, low pressure to the north, high pressure building to the south. That week, a weather front will continue to fizzle out, but we'll see further fronts pushing to Northern Ireland, uh, to parts of Scotland and Northern England through the day, thanks to that area of low pressure anchor to the north of Scotland. It will be quite a windy here, but further south and east, again, better chance of seeing lighter winds and more sunshine. We'll start to tap into the warm familiar content, 24, maybe 25 degrees, but a high teens further north. Now this area of high pressure really starts to establish itself over the near continent. Suddenly winds begin and start to push those weather fronts to, to the north of the UK. So there'll be a gradual process on Friday where we'll see the clouds thinning and breaking and the rain diverting towards the north of Scotland. Elsewhere, variable cloud, but some good spells of sunshine. And we're really tapping into the warmth over the near continent with temperatures in the high 20s Celsius in the south and east, even the low 20s further north. Into the start of the weekend, it looks like those weather fronts will be away from the UK, so most places it should be dry with variable cloud, plenty of sunshine, winds coming in from the south or the southeast, so a much warmer day for all the low to mid 20s Celsius in the north, perhaps high 20s in the southeast. So, yes, it's certainly warming up across the board with temperatures probably best across the south and east. It looks like this fine spell will last for many of us into next week. This is the story of the fatal mistakes. You can tell more blackmail than Nazis. Brutal crimes left unchallenged. He camps in the small town of Dachau. Of double deals and secret conspiracies. They want to annihilate you from existence altogether. That could have prevented one man from changing the course of history. The rise of the Nazis. Coming soon to BBC Two and BBC iPlayer. The latest tech is advancing so fast, it can be hard to keep up. AI might be predicting the fashion of the future. But there's no need to be overwhelmed. I look made up of solar panels. Wow, all your water. This is what it feels like to be on the moon. Just consult the experts. This is how you really do it. Yeah. Take a look at tomorrow's tech today with Click. Saturday and Sunday at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. This is The Briefing. I'm Ben Bland, our top story. Australia's Cardinal Pell will remain in jail for child sex abuse crimes after his appeal is rejected. By a majority of two to one, the Court of Appeal has dismissed Cardinal Pell, George Pell's appeal against his conviction for the commission of sexual offences. Boris Johnson prepares to meet the German Chancellor Angela Merkel as he tries to persuade Europe to agree a Brexit deal. President Trump says he's postponing a trip to Denmark because the Prime Minister has rebuffed his offer to buy Greenland. Britain's top bosses have a big pay cut, but they still earn more than a hundred times the salary of average workers.
Hi there, a very warm welcome to the programme. It's great to have you with us, and I'll brief you on all that you need to know in global news, business, and sport. And today, a study estimates that up to 40 million old, unused tech gadgets are piling up in homes in the UK. So I'm asking, what do you do with your old phones, computers, tablets, and so on? Do you recycle them? Do you donate them? Do you keep them as a spare? Perhaps your old phone is now a doorway. <laughs> Get in touch and let me know. Just use the hashtag BBC The Briefing. Hello. The highest ranking Catholic cleric to be convicted of child sex abuse, Cardinal George Pell, has lost his appeal against his conviction. In February, he was found guilty of abusing two boys while he was on.